Hey y'all, it's Danielle and Kristen. Kristen, yes. We're here at the Time Massage Jam and we're going to be showing you guys how to work on your neck and your shoulder and kind of your rotator cuff for people who are experiencing some pain. So Kristen, how is your neck and shoulder feeling today? I feel a little tight. I've been doing a lot of yoga, so I definitely am excited about this class today. Really? Yoga made you feel tight? Lots of down dogs. They're beating me up. Oh, Even okay. this slow right. yoga, they're I'll whooping you, my butt. I'll give you that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to have Kristen start on your back, please. Let me move down a little bit towards I appreciate that. So you're going to have your receiver start face up, face up on their back. And first we're going to do is just warm up the pec area. Now the pecs are that big, beautiful chest muscle in the front that pulls everything forward. We're just going to start that by taking our palms, just gently palm pressing right here above where the shoulder meets the chest. Be mindful of your receiver's uh, chest or breast tissue. We don't want to cross any boundaries or make anyone feel uncomfortable as we're trying to help them. How does that feel, Kristen? Great. Awesome. Oh, I can feel your arms. You've got strong biceps. Lots of chaturanga. Sounds like food. <laughs> it's definitely not food. Oh, I might be hungry. <laughs> All right, so now that we've palm pressed up here for just a little bit, to let her know that, hey, this is where we're going to be working at. I'm going to take my knee and put it right where my hand was. So you're going to see, I'm going to put my knee right here, right where my hand was. And the part of the knee that I'm going to use is this nice flat front part, not my pointy tarp sharp knee, because that'll hurt. That'll feel like I'm stabbing you in the chest and I'm not ready for that. no one wants that. It's not fun. So nice flat part of my knee. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, big deep breath in, Kristen. Let's slide that in and on the exhale, come on down. Ooh, how does that feel? Good. Okay, so can you guys all see? Here is Kristen's shoulder cap or deltoids, you know, that front part of your shoulder ball, I guess a lot of people feel. Her chest tissue is down here, I'm right at that juncture, as I keep touching the mic, right at that juncture above the breast tissue, but below the shoulder cap. How does that? Good. So now, depending on your receiver, you can either lean in ooh, for a lot more pressure. How's that? Good. She'll usually like tell me it's too much. I want to see how far I can go. <laughs> she has no edge. Mm -hmm. But if you're like me and a giant sissy, you can also come out and lean back just a little bit and take some of that pressure off of there. I just felt the blood flush to my fingers. <laughs> <It was> nice. <laughs> Another option that you can do to help diffuse some of the pressure is put a towel or a blanket or like some shirts, I don't know, something there to help diffuse some of the pressure just to take a little bit of edge off. So I'm going to lean in once more for you. How does that feel? Okay. Wonderful. And really what I'm targeting here is going to be pack attachments into the shoulder, some of that anterior or that front delt of that shoulder cap. And big deep breath in. And on the exhale, I'm going to slowly come out. We don't want to hop right off. That can cause the body to contract, create some rebounding, which no one likes and is very painful. So then, now that I've got her shoulder nice and warmed up, I'm going to take the flat part of my foot. I'm going to come right in here onto her um, ribs, right below her breast tissue, and kind of into her armpit. So I'm going to slide right in just like that. Ooh, I like to lock my leg, grab my receiver's arm. Go ahead and hold on. We're going to make a pact. Big deep breath in. And I'm going to lean back and take her arm with me. Ooh, get some beautiful traction in that shoulder joint. How does that feel? Wonderful. So this is creating a lot of space in the shoulder, mainly around where the shoulder blade kind of meets the upper body. A lot of times the shoulder blade gets stuck on there and this is tractioning and pulling it off and creating space. Now what I can also do is I'm going to open her up just a little bit and you'll see my heel all the way down here. It's on the very edge of Terry's minor, which is one of your rotator cuffs. And I can push in, give me your hand again, and then just really focus 
on that muscle, on one of those uh, really important rotator cuff muscles. How does that feel? Maybe it is. Good. Again, be mindful of your receiver. Sometimes they're awesome, like Kristen, and can take incredible amounts of pressure. Or they might be like me, where they cry, like a little baby, and that's okay. At least. I like to do a little bit of movement to get that in there. How does that feel? It's good. Wonderful. Traction out. I like to bring my foot out. Feeling that traction, pulling that shoulder girdle open. I can feel it opening at the base of my skull. That is perfect and wonderful. So once I've done that, I'm then going to swing around and come up here to the top. Now I've got her arm with me. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to focus on the top of the shoulder. Okay, you've got your anterior delt, lateral delt, posterior delt, all of these arm attachments, biceps, you know, we have those big strong arms. All that jazz starts to run into here. So we're going to your hand again. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to take the flat part of my foot, right? But I'm going to use this foot, flat part of my foot. I'm going to press it right in to where all of those muscles love to hang out. And I'm just going to lean back. How does that feel? That's good. You feel that on your bicep? I do. You have a strong bicep. She curls. Yoga, uh, yoga push-ups. Yeah, I'm going to say she lifts weights. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. I met a lot of really strong yoga people, too, but... <clears throat> I've also seen you do, uh, what is that? The one that crazy, all the crazy people do? Crossfit. There you go. See, she knew it. I have crazy people crossfit <laughs> easily. Anyway, so yeah, I can tell. So all I'm doing here is just, we're just holding hands and I'm leaning back and getting some nice pressure right again on that bicep and on those shoulder cap muscles, the deltoids. Move around just a little bit, pull her in. Oh, how does that feel? Good. Good. Now be mindful. The side of the side or the knife of your foot can feel really sharp, especially if I were to roll like Whee! that. Yeah. Oh, getting some real focus stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's intense. So I'm just gonna oh. come back. Use my nice soft foot. Sometimes you might find one of those real big knots or adhesions. You can back out slowly. And you can use the heel of our foot very very gently listen to your receiver they might cry they might curse at you they might tell you you're amazing all are valid <laughs> you just want to listen and respond and meet our receiver where they are at how's that feel wonderful so now that we've done that I'm going to bring her out. I'm going to work on her neck because Chris and, and everybody usually has neck issues. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take the balls of my feet right in here. I'm going to come right in here on the top of traps. A little bit of levator, levator scapula. There's those big neck muscles that everyone's like, oh, they hurt. And everyone knows what traps are because they always hurt. So we're going to work on them. May I have your hand again, please? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Take again, ball of my foot, and I'm just going to slide in right into that little area that she's created and pull back until she says, oh, and then I know I've made it. How does that feel? Good. Now, if this feels like a little bit too much on your toes, because it looks like my toes are being a little bit crushed, and that might happen to you. If that happens, you can come back out. You can try the, the other foot. I'm going to come in, protecting the side of her neck. I don't want to hurt her and just do that. It's a little bit broader, a little bit more easy. How does that feel? Easier for me to receive with that foot. There you go. So now we're going to hang out and do this foot because this one works better for Kristen. And for me as the giver, this is fine. Now I like to rock and slowly move my receiver around to see where their tension is at, to see where they're holding and take them on this journey. Being mindful, you can see that her arm's moving a little bit because we're doing some pretty intense work here. And that's great. Big deep breath in. 
And uh, So now is the time where you can start telling your receiver a whole bunch of stuff. There's <laughs> nothing that they can do about it. Like, Kristen, I scratched your car. <laughs> oh, God, she scratched a car. Somebody wants to steal her motorcycle. Stop it. Thing. She can't do anything. I got her arm. <sighs> so. So we're going to come out real slowly now. Then I'm going to give her arm back to her. Right? And then... We're going to do a little bit of neck traction. Thank you. What I like to do is take the, um, again, flat part of my foot. I don't know where we are. Flat part of my foot, the ball or the pad, and I'm going to hook it right on top of the shoulder cap. <clears throat> Just like that. Boom. So real simple. We can all do that, right? I'm not pushing. I'm not you know, forcing it down. I'm just doing that for stabilization because then what I'm going to come in and do I'm going to come in and grab the side of her neck and just do a nice stretch of mm. traction. Mm -hmm. So the way I've got it is I'm going to move my foot so you guys can see. I've got my hands slid underneath her neck right here at the base of her skull. And all I'm doing is rolling it this way. Now she can come with me. So I'm going to use this foot to keep her there. You see how I'm pushing down? So now she's going to be getting this stretch from here all the way to here. So come in, hook in, and then just lean. Just like that. Very simple. How does that feel, Kristen? Mm. Wonderful. So now I'm going to do the other side. A little bit uh, more mindful than tense because we know kind of what we're looking at doing. So, we're gonna again come in, shake this arm out, say, Hey, we're about to work here. Do some nice palm compressions, being mindful of your receiver's breast tissue, your chest tissue. I like to use my breath to help regulate my receiver's breath. Sometimes people want to go, I get that breathing is important we need oxygen <laughs> but we also want to like calm down and receive what we're doing Kristen is an awesome receiver for not blowing her breath in my face yeah thank you you're welcome I figured you wouldn't want espresso breath <clears throat> I don't know espresso is kind of nice not when it's chocolate I mean, I, all of those chocolate words sound espresso. really good. What are you talking about? Chocolate and coffee? Okay. Um, I hate say. <laughs> like suddenly this uh, whole video turns weird. <laughs> so Kristen definitely has a lot going on in this left shoulder. And the way I'm doing these palm compressions is I'm just stacking my body weight above my hands. So I'm not using any real muscles to like push down. It's just pressing in and leaning and saying, hey, noticing Kristen's earrings and going, hmm, should I get a new piercing? I don't know. <laughs> Always. So once I've done that and introduced this area, let it know that it's going to get some work, I'm going to come in. And again, I'm going to take the flat part of my knee right in here onto that space above the breast tissue below the shoulder cap. Breathe in. Like now, if I want more pressure, as you can see, I can lean my hips to stack more over top of my knee so I get more focused pressure. How's that? Or I can pull back, take off the pressure. Kristen likes a lot. So I go in a little bit more. How's that? Good job. Checking in with your receiver is important because this is intense. This can be pretty intense. We don't want to hurt our receivers. We like them usually. <laughs> usually. Usually. I don't know. There's some people. We'll mm -hmm. see. Somebody do think. 
and come out on the exhale. Good job. Now you can hold these moves a lot longer than when I'm holding them. I have a feeling that nobody wants to watch me sit here with a knee in Kristen's pack for like 20 minutes. I mean, I have some really great commentary. I have a feeling after 20 minutes, I'd also run out of stuff. So again, I've taken the flat part of my foot right along those ribs, right into that armpit. Chris and I are going to make a pact that we're going to do this. Hold on, big deep breath in. And breathe, and I'm just going to lean back. Get that traction through that shoulder girdle. She should feel some movement in her shoulder blade. To move around just a little bit. I'm using my bottom leg or my outside leg to support my inside leg because that's what works for me. You can sit however is comfortable for you. Again, if I wanted to focus a little bit more on those back muscles or back rotator cuff muscles, particularly Terry's minor, which is a, a big deal rotator arm mover thing. I'm going to take the heel of my foot and again, just come in right at the base. And I'm going to show you on this side. It's going to be right in there with the heel of my foot. So I'm going to come in, press in, and lean. How does that feel? Good job. Now, if I wanted to make this sharper, I could take my foot and turn it. Ooh, use that nice knife of my foot. I'm not going to do that. It's all really intense. And also, Kristen is about to work on me. So I'm just going to move her around a little. So once we've done that, I'm going to pull out. And I just like detraction because honestly, it feels nice. Traction is awesome. If your receiver can't handle traction, that's okay. Don't traction. We'll find other ways around it. And if that does happen, just let me know. Shoot me a message, comments, and uh, we'll tell you about some workarounds on how to work with somebody who can't handle traction. So again, I'm going to take my outside leg, the flat of my foot, onto basically the top of the shoulder cap, the biceps meet, and just there's a lot of stuff there. When you look at the anatomy on the screen, you'll see. I'm going to grab her hand. I'm going to lean and pull her onto my foot very gently as I saw her feet. <laughs> and then back up just a bit. And just breathe. Again, this is working those deltoid attachments as well as the biceps attachment and then also just getting some movement in the shoulder blade which typically likes to get really glued and stuck onto the ribs and then we're all hunched forward as i'm sitting here even hunched forward and then our arms don't work so pull the stuff off just like that she's a little more facive and you're know, right at the edge which is great So I'm going to come back out, then I'm going to come in, and I'm going to put my foot, and I'm going to use my inside foot now, because this is what worked best for her. And right here at the traps, which everyone has, I'm going to come in, that broad foot, how does that feel? And I'm going to pull her onto that. So there's that. Now, if you have someone who's like, oh, I want more pressure, oh, give me more. Of course, I will give you more. I will be very gentle, Kristen. Please don't murder me later. You can use your toes or the balls of your feet or the knife of your foot Tiny. and get in there just like this. Ooh. And then pull. How does that feel? Sharp. It is very sharp. It is very sharp. So be aware of your receivers because this can be very intense for some people. And go slow. Give them a chance to catch up to what we're doing. 
You don't want to go so fast to where everything starts hurting. I see the time. Thank you. I'm going to hold that there just like that. So once you feel like you've worked those traps in the Vader a bit, we're going to bring the arm back down slowly, just like that, and pull my feet out. Readjust, because we've been rolling around all over the floor. I'm going to take my foot, same side. Again, flat of foot onto that shoulder cap right there. My hand is going to come around underneath and pull like that, okay? So push and pull. I'm gonna use two hands here because that seems to work a little bit better. So as you can see, my hand, this hand, we're focusing right here at, right at the base of the skull where it meets the neck, gently tractioning to her opposite shoulder, try to bring their ear to their shoulder, but like don't force it, you don't want to break their neck, that's important. Just breathe. How's that feel? Just so a nice stretch again from all the way from the shoulder to the base of the skull. If you want, you can move your fingers around a little bit, do a little of that base of the skull. Massage, that feels nice. Or you can just hold it, whichever feels best. So once we've done that, I'd like to come back. Reset the head, because I just moved it all around. I like to take my hands, come right at the top of the shoulders, kind of like C's. We're going to come in and do like, where is it this? We're going to do like a C at the, right where the shoulders meet the neck. And we're going to bring and pull up and traction all the way to the base of the spine, okay? So we're going to come in here and do that. So C hands, right here, base of the neck. I'm going to hook in and then just traction all the way. And traction means to grab and pull gently. And this just helps create space in the neck. A lot of times we're all like this. I'm even sitting here like this sometimes. So now that we've got her even on both sides, the last thing that I like to do is to come in. Kristen, may I have your hands, please? All right, so you saw how we did the one side and then we did the other side. Now we are very gently going to do both sides. This will be very intense. You're going to take the flat part of your foot again, right at the, right below where the shoulder cap, the deltoids meet to the biceps. We're going to hunt, hold hands, and then I'm going to lean back very gently and slightly. See how that small movement, like I was here and now I'm here. And see Kristen's face. Oh. I'm like, don't break them off. Don't break them off. That very slight movement. I go to yoga tonight. From here to here. Big feelings for such a small movement. And right there you can see the deltoids. We're right at where all three of those delts, those colors meet, right onto the arm, is where my feet are placed. We're holding on, and just leaning back. You can move around a little bit. What feels best for you and your receiver. I like to move a lot in my sessions. Yeah, I know, right? And just feel. If it's too much, just give them a little bit more room. You can meet them down here. That's totally fine. We can get closer. Just like this. And pull back. All of that's totally fine. Just wherever, meeting your client, wherever they're at, and working that. 
don't know if you guys can see, but Kristen's face looks like she's loving it. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly bring the arms back down. And then I like to come back in again once more and do that C traction. To the top of the shoulders, where the neck meets the shoulder, C's. I'm not choking. Don't choke. You know, that's weird. So we're going to bring our thumbs out. Come in and slide up the back of the neck to the base of the skull and just lean back like that. Now our scalenes, because while we're here, a lot of people have a lot of neck pain in the front. That's our scaling. So if that happens, we can take our C hands again. These hands or the camera? These hands. Mm -hmm. Come in and press in very gently. And do kind of like kitty, kitty cat pushing. So that feels good. Come right in here and press. And you can also get in here with your feet. It's very intense. So I'm just showing you with fingertips right now. Back in and traction. And then we're done. How is that, Kristen? Is there anything you'd like to see again? No. No? Okay, awesome. I think I've got it locked in what we're going to do next. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm excited to see what you do. <laughs> and I'm excited for y'all to hear me go, oh, that's too much. <laughs> So we're going to take a quick break and then we'll switch out and be right back. Thanks guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So go ahead and get your receiver on the floor. If they need a little bolster, you know, you can roll up a blanket or put, you know, if you have a bolster randomly around your house, if you're a therapist, throw a bolster underneath their legs if they need it for low back support. Now we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to warm up our pec and across the arm here so that we can do this awesome work that Danielle just showed us. So I always come across, you know, it's, Whenever you're first starting off doing this work, you may not be able to sit on your feet like this. So do whatever feels best for you as a receiver, also or as a giver. And for your receiver, do be aware of the amount of pressure that you're pushing into them. It's not that I'm actually pushing, I'm using my body weight to sink into Danielle. So my hand is above the breast tissue, below her clavicle. Collarbone, aka non anatomy. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna learn something today, right? So I'm just doing a little warm up. I'm kind of since Danielle doesn't like a lot of pressure. I'm a giant sissy, y'all. Giant sissy, and so I kind of like to lean in instead of just hold a hard compression on her. But the warm up's really important because it'll make her less of a sissy if it's nice and soft, warm. Maybe in 10 years' time, I'll be, we'll a real <laughs> be able to get a real massage. Well, that's where I placed it. Good. That arm needs this. So I've gotten her peck and bicep. I think a little bit of forearm warmed up. So I'm going to come in with the flat part of my knee here. Be careful to not use that point. Some people might like the point, but for the most part, I would go ahead and use the flat part. We're going to come right back in that same area that we were just working. I like to come facing my receiver. I'm going to go in, take a deep breath, and let it out. All 
I am doing this slightly different than Danielle did it. Danielle was mainly sinking more into the body. I'm kind of sinking in and pulling down towards the feet. Is that pressure okay? Okay. I find it's important to have my receiver take a breath in and then as she's breathing out, I go ahead and start to sink in with her. Working with breath is really important. The breath not only helps relieve and relax the muscle, also helps the receiver. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go ahead and come out, let her recover. I'm gonna do one more pass. Deep breath. I'm going a little bit more towards the arm with this one. The first one was a little bit more towards her midline. Once again, we're below the bone and right above the breast tissue. Always being aware of the bony structures. It never feels good to have uh, bones pushed on with, with the knee or... Yeah, not the best. Not a giant grinding my bones for your bread. Yeah. That will not get the muscles to relax. Mm. So slowly come out. So I'm gonna come sit here at her side. Once again, I'm facing her body. I'm going to come in with this flat part of my foot and we're going to go straight underneath her armpit. And do be careful. Sometimes you might accidentally catch the skin back here. It's very sensitive. Don't catch that with your uh, foot and pinch. So I always kind of scoop. Also make sure your sheets. I'm going to come in, deep breath in. And out. I'm just going to lean back in traction. Out of my shoulder blade. Good. It's working. This move is great for getting that shoulder blade to get unstuck. Open things back up. Kristen's being awesome and cheating by doing forearms. I am. I'm cheating. But there's a natural, I can tell that Danielle is nice and moisturized. She put a little lotion on. I'm not mad about it. But it's giving me a nice, so I'm getting to, at the same time, I'm kind of distracting her from my foot in her, uh, her side there. It's true. And I'm doing a nice little forearm work here. I'm very aware of this foot. <laughs> it's right there. It's right on the edge of what I need. I want to breathe, it hurts. As she breathes out, I'm just going to let my foot slowly come out of where it was. So we're going to come back in, get into this wonderful Terry's kind of these great shoulder cuff muscles. I'm going to come in with the heel. And since I know Danielle is tender, she's got that sweet tenderness. I'm going to be very kind as I come in deep breath and traction. Oh, she is being so kind. <laughs> That's so, Harry's is very aware. <laughs> so if your if your receiver maybe doesn't uh, moisturize like Danielle does, and if they do have dry skin, this might be too much. You always feel free. You can fold the arm like this. Oh, yeah. Give yourself a little different handle. It also creates um, a bit of a different experience. Not everyone is into slide. So that shows you a, a different way to kind of do that there. It takes off any pressure on the arm. Yeah. Thank you. Do one little more traction here. Slowly coming out with breath. At this point, I'm going to come up to the top. Let's see what we do here. I believe now we come up here to these where the delts come into the bicep, correct? We're going to come in with a flat foot. I'm using like this, this flat part, the middle part of my foot. Boop, arch. boop, boop. Yes, the arch. It only took me 45 minutes to remember. I wanted to say arch, but you've been saying flat foot, so I'm like, yeah, it's the flat part. Yeah, no, I was up flat. I it's the be... more flat part yeah. than the heel or the uh, ball pad. I'm real trained, I promise. <laughs> oh, Take a deep oh. breath in. 
And uh, oh, okay, that's a. F you found it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so this this is a really intense move. No leaning back, just slight, <laughs> slight movement. Like I'm gonna lean back, but that's it. Just think about leaning back. Think about leaning back, and it's pretty good. In my head, you're leaning back. I'm there. We're on this journey together. Oh, God dang. I mean. We Mind did. you, Danielle, this is what she wanted us to work on today. I did it. I planned this. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> did you redo? Where's some other one? So I'm kind of going in and out. It feels really good. Like, I'm being dramatic. It feels really good. Uh -huh. I know you can barely see me moving, but I'm moving. She's moving. I'm. <laughs> Sorry, don't make me laugh. It makes me jolt around. <laughs> Uh, okay, so okay. So we're gonna slowly come out of there because oh. she's had enough of her own medicine. <laughs> Why did I teach you that? God. Now I know, and when, when I've got things I want to hear from you, I'm gonna just yeah. do that. Yeah, it feels so good though. Like it's so needed. <laughs> so at this point, oh. I believe this is when you came in. Is this when we came in with toes here? Mm -hmm. So we're coming right in, right into the traps here, right? Yes. So it's a little bit, I'll show you here because it's easier. We're coming right into this little chunky part here and you'll feel it. Stay away from that bone. That won't feel good. We're going back here into the trap. We're going to kind of click into it. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Depending on what their shirt looks like, it might be kind of hard to see where you're going. I am gray colored. I feel like I'm like on your bone. Uh, it's really tight in there. Ah, oh, there you are. So see how I was having a little trouble? I was a little too, I was a little too outside where I was trying to be. I need to be a little more closer towards the neck. And as soon as she slipped me in there, I was like, oh yeah. Slipped in again. I'm having trouble still. Okay, you're is, there. That, is that better? Oh yeah, no, you're there. Okay, deep breath. And pull the arm. There you go. It's really good. I'm going to assume all of your receivers are making noise and this one feels amazing. <laughs> I'm going to kind of reassess, get back in there, and it feels so good, you guys. So I'm feeling the, like, almost heel on her, of her foot on my traps, and it's so glorious and desperately needed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give her a break and I'm going to come in and I'm going to go ahead and, and do this uh, little claw action here. Basically what I'm doing with my hand, you know, and do what's best for you, what feels good. I kind of slide my, my hands up her neck until I get to her occipital or the base of her skull here. Your fingers, fingers will slide in to where it needs to go and you will feel it kind of hook in. So at the same time, I'm going to use the arch of my foot, press down on her shoulder, and I'm going to give her a little, a little length here. <laughs> so we're stretching out her levator, her traps, her scalenes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I totally feel it on my scalenes. That was unexpected and i can feel my arm like Rrr. that's a technical term do you mean that it's letting go or it's tightening than letting go yeah it's tightening it's like... and then letting go letting go so i'm gonna go in again i'm gonna find another good spot here in the shoulder deep breath and sliding the fingers up the neck catching oh. that occipital and i might use my right hand to just kind of yeah. guide her in right Good use of body parts. I have two hands. And you use them so well. Oh, thank you. And I feel that like all like I feel that in my arm. Oh. Wonderful. So before I move to the other side, I'm just gonna add in. I'm just gonna do a little a little slide just up her neck to kind of give her a little balance, even though we're not mm. we're gonna start back how we started the right side 
when we go to the left side, but I just want to give a little love up the shaft of her neck. That's kind of strange, but I said it. That's all right. I'm here for it. <laughs> it was worth it. We try to use a little bit of anatomy, but we want to keep it to where uh, if this is just the public working at home that you guys will understand what we're talking about. Right? So shaft of neck it is. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come over here and do our receiver's left side of their body. Once again, we're going to pull their arm out and we're going to give some love, warm up this tissue here. We're going to prepare our receivers for receiving to receive some deep shoulder pec work, neck work, rotator cuff, anatomy. So I kind of think of this as making snakes. I like to think about making Play-Doh snakes, right? You have a little snake arm by the end of this. Hmm. My arms are like sticks. Not for long. Good. One of the best things and most common things we hear after working on people is I feel longer. I feel like I lighter. I feel more space. And uh, this definitely is going to create that sensation in the arm. More in the peck or all over. I always like to start when I'm working with someone and just tell them, hey, you know, if at any point I'm giving you too much pressure or not enough, let me know. Feel free to have open communication throughout the session because that is most important. I will watch her face or her eyebrometer, as we like to call it. Listen to her breath to adjust. If I'm using too much, I can just sit back on my feet more and to take my weight off of her. I spend a little extra time warming up the arm and pec for Danielle once again because she is a little more tender, doesn't like as much pressure, and so it will be easier for her to receive if I do this. But actually on this side, I'm going to show you how we can use a blanket to cushion and soften the work. It'll dampen the sharpness of my knee into her pec, and so I figure why not since I know you want it. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but also then you uh, you guys at home will be able to see what we mean when we talk about using a blanket or like Daniel said a shirt. So you get a shirt right next to you. Yeah, fold that bad boy up, toss it, toss it across the peck. Don't let anything stop you in your body journey. Yes. Body. You know, I'm actually going to use a towel because that's a little less material, right? And it's right here. So depending on, you know, say if you start working with your receiver and, oh, it's still too sharp you know, add a little bit more, you know, feel free. There's no, there's no rules except don't hurt yourself or your receiver, right? Yeah. Appreciate so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drape this across in a way that doesn't make her feel funky and not th putting across her face or her throat, but do be aware where her body is, right? So we're going to be below the collarbone, above the breast tissue. I might unfold this just one. We'll see how that feels. So I'm going to come in, deep breath in. I'm kind of, I'm hovering right now, right? And then once she starts to breathe out, I'm slowly leaning forward and taking my knee down. I feel that. It is not as sharp as the other side. So it's working, right? Yeah. Is the pressure still a little bit too much? Should I lighten no, up? No, it's good. I feel you shaking. No, it's because I need it. Okay. I'm just sinking in and encouraging good breaths. I don't have to do much encouragement with Danielle because she's doing a great job on her own to breathe. I will either ask my receiver to take a deep breath in. One more good breath. 
This time I'm coming a little more lateral or towards her outside line of her body. Sinking in with the breath as she breathes out and going down towards her feet. I feel that a lot more on my delts, my shoulder cap, which is needed. As well as pecs. I feel my arm getting longer. Good. Deep breath in. And uh, one more in and uh, I'm slowly with this next breath, I'm just slowly coming out. You can see how slow I'm coming out. You can barely tell, but I am. We don't want the muscle to recoil or tighten up as we leave. If you leave too abruptly, it's shocking to receive. Awesome. So we have warmed up her pec. We're going to come in with the arch of our foot right here on the side of her body, making sure to not pinch. And we are going to have a deep breath in and lean back. I noticed on the other side, when I worked on Danielle, I kind of, she has some sensitive skin and I noticed I made her arm a little red. So I'm trying this side a little differently. Oh, no, I just get red really easily. Almost looks like I kind of broke skin though. Yeah. Deep breath. And so just cause we're doing a lot of arm tractioning, I'm just, instead of doing much slide, I'm kind of just holding them in place. That feels great. So. And sometimes that happens. It's no big deal as long as your, uh, you know, client isn't experiencing pain. I did not. I did not feel any. Yeah, it just happens sometimes. <laughs> she also bruises like a peach. I do. I'm very. Pretty. She's like Roth. <laughs> That's one of my favorite episodes. It wants to love you. You work so hard. And deep breath. So now I'm going to come in with the heel, right? We're going to come in with the heel. We're going to get into the shoulder cuff muscles back here on the back set. I'm anticipating this awesomeness. Take a deep breath. And out. <laughs> If someone likes this work a lot more, you can lean back more. Danielle's cool with me kind of leaning back slightly. <laughs> Thinking hard. I'm like leaning back, but my arms aren't moving. <laughs> more of just like extending my neck for the camera. And as the receiver, I very much appreciate it. Because <laughs> it is very intense. You know, I could come here and work her hand a little bit as I'm doing this because I know she needs this Terry's work, right? We need to, we need to open this up, but it hurts. I'm such a dude. So I'll work on her hand a little bit while I'm doing this. Kristen's very good at distracting. Mm -hmm. I have multiple babies in my practice. It's okay. I'm no stranger. And who doesn't want a little extra hand work, right? Look at that. Mmm, little pinky. And I'm just kind of like milking her hand, right? That's what I'm doing. It's like you're a cow udder. Once again, still not weird. Well, you know how they neck shaft in a cow udder, so I don't know what to tell you guys. This is what happens when I don't do a tie jam for like a month. I say weird things. <laughs> You heard it here first. But you know what? You're going to remember this. Uh-huh. You're going to be like, oh, right. That, that one time I milked your hand yeah, and you liked it. I did. That's my new status update on Facebook. So, you know, you can even come down and just, oh, uh, a little length so here. I feel that all through here. Right? All right. I don't know why I did that because. Oh, great. That's how you did it. True that. I just need your arm back up here now. <laughs> oh. 
but they, if I hadn't said anything, she wouldn't have even noticed. She's like, do whatever you want with my arm. Once again, we're coming in with this wonderful arch. The arch is your friend. It is the most broad surface of your foot. It's a great initial spot. So once again, this is a very intense area where the delts come in and meet the bicep. And you can see I'm going from here to here. Tell me everything you know. Beautiful. I won't steal your motorcycle. That's right. I was joking. I didn't scratch a car. <laughs> I wanted to seem cool for the camera. <laughs> oh, did you feel that? Uh huh. Oh, my deltoid just went. Yeah, it did. Released. I'm slowly coming out of that this point I feel like is this now where I come in into the traps mm -hmm. correct wonderful this is a lot one of the easier flows that Danielle has set up for me and I am appreciative of that we are doing great together guys all right so we're coming back into these traps here right into this meaty part here that is kind of even if you're not working a desk most jobs life we get tight in our traps so we're getting back to that neck right I'm gonna give myself a little support behind me because I don't want to slide off the mat I'm slowly can you angle in towards my neck just a little bit more I'm gonna slide my butt off the mat it's time I needed to stretch my leg out is really what I need to do A little too fast. You have the keys to my car. Ha <laughs> you heard it. Uh, oh. Make sure these movements are slow. Nothing too crazy abrupt. This is deep work. And as the receiver, I don't feel like she's choking me with her foot. Just FYI, it might look like it. I don't know what it looks like, but it doesn't I feel like she's tripping. <sighs> it feels amazing. I don't want to say. Deep breath. And... <sighs> Hate me so much. Love you so much. Oh. And slowly pull that foot out. I'm gonna get my bottom back on the mat. You want me to scoot down? Yeah. So I'm gonna go in with the little claw, right? We're gonna slide up the neck. I'm gonna use the arch of my foot at her delt. Mm -hmm. I like the edge of her uh, shoulder cap, right? We're gonna be right here offering that length. See how her head moves there. At the same time, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my watch off just so I don't pull my friend's hair. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna get myself right above her and mm. lengthening, tractioning. Oh. Use my left hand to offer a little more support and length mm. as my fingers underneath. Hold, do stuff. They're doing stuff. I feel that all the way down into my fingers. I'm going to come out and get back in. I've got a tight QL low back muscle. So for me, I kind of got to go in and out. Or just modify it to where it doesn't hurt for you. I mean, it's just kind of like a psoas thing. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's just sitting down like this. I've been mm -hmm. overexerting myself in yoga this past week. Oh. I have not. Bringing my left hand in to give a little more stretch. And releasing with her breath. Great breath. All right, I'm going to come in. We're going to give a little traction, right? So we're going to do some C's. We're going to go all the way to the base of her neck. 
I'm controlling myself to not keep saying that same phrase over and over. <laughs> and so that's why there's always a pause. I'm like, am I going to say it again? No, mm -hmm. stop it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to the base where her neck meets her shoulders. We're going to go ahead and pull up. And once we catch that head, we're going to traction. That feels I wanna, so good. I want to do that again with you breathing. Though. I feel like uh, if we incorporate the breath, it'll be a little uh, more releasing. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. And as you release that breath, I'm going to go ahead and strip those neck muscles and traction. Right. You can also do little circles. These are called the occipital muscles back here. There's well, there's all sorts of great muscles in the back of the neck. What's that? They're tiny. Oh, they are tiny. I'm just giving little little it circles. So good. Little circles. So good. We all look down too much. Everything's mm -hmm. down in front of us. So give a little love. You know? Depending yeah. on how much you like your uh, receiver, you come in. Give a little scalp massage oh, here yeah. to kind of finish it off, right? I clearly hate Kristen. Yeah, she doesn't love me enough. No, she's loving me. Oh gosh. A little, a little uh, love. Scalp massages. Right. Yeah, she's like, let me, let me help you, lady. I want to get my money's worth. Right. I'm, I'm, yeah. So we're just doing little circles. I know we said, you know, shoulder, peck neck but the scalp needs love to it it does it's attached it's attached it's all the way up there oh. you work hard you deserve it yes thank you i can even finish with a little little shoulder push and this has been fun we should do this again i want to do it again you guys should come back and join us. Leave us comments about what you liked, what you want to see. How do you feel after receiving this? Oh, there goes my butt off the mat again. It's okay. She probably likes me extending my legs all the way. I do. It feels amazing. <sighs> all right. Let your receiver kind of come back to the world. They've just received a lot of, a lot of needed work. It was definitely needed. Oh man, I'm going to feel like a person again. She's real. All right, guys. Well, we have enjoyed having you here with us today. It has been like a month since we've done this together. Oh it's gosh, been far right? too long. Definitely has. So we want to see you guys back in two weeks. Yeah, I think definitely. about two weeks we'll be doing this again. Yeah. We like the seven to eight. It's our normal time. Let us know what it is you guys like to work on. I have a feeling that we're going to probably work on low back and QL next time because Kristen's low back and QL hurts. It does. I hope you guys can hear that. We're going to work on our QL next. So probably next time is going to be low back stuff unless y'all have something really cool that you want us to work on it will totally change up plans but definitely uh tune in live with us but always feel free to go ahead and watch these after the fact just go ahead and lock lock onto the uh playlist the tie jam playlist and you can see everything we've done in the past and continue working live with us moving forward yeah sounds great thanks you guys for uh, joining us and we look forward to seeing you later have a great weekend bye, bye.